Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a rather large makeup haul, beauty haul, I suppose. Some of these items I've purchased, they're newer to the market. Some of these were given to me in PR. These are the products that I'm going to be testing and updating you guys on in the next couple of months. If you want to see what these items are, then just keep watching. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Hum Nutrition. Now, I was really excited about this partnership because I have been using and taking some of their gummy vitamins <laughs> for the last couple of months and I've been loving them. Honestly, Jose and I have been fighting over them because they taste so good, but we'll get into that. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm actually a physical education teacher, so health and wellness are a very important part of my life outside of makeup. So the reason that I originally gravitated towards Hum Nutrition was because of their all natural clinic proven ingredients, non-GMO formulas, free of common allergens, sustainably sourced, and all vegan ingredients, which I think is incredible. They are actually Sephora's number one wellness brand. The reason why I take vitamins and supplements is because sometimes food just doesn't have all of the vitamins that you need. But I look to vitamins and supplements for those vital nutrients that I feel like my body needs. I was really surprised by this. When you look on the Sephora website, Hum has numerous different formulations for it different goals that you might have like clear skin, improved sleep, hair growth, balanced mood, healthier body. Even I was like, whoa, I need to take a lot of these. Their mission is to make everyone feel and look their best. So I'm going to share with you some of the ones that I'm currently taking. The main one that I'm going to talk about today is the Diggly Cleanse. Now this one's goal is to help clear your skin and body from toxins. I don't know if you guys have been watching my videos the last few weeks, but my skin just went through it all of a sudden. So I started taking this. This is fairly new, so stay tuned. I've only been taking it for about a week. I'm going to update you guys a month from now, so stay tuned for like a favorites video and I'll let you know how these are working. But so far, so good. My skin is clearing up, so yeah. Um, the key ingredient in here is chlorella. This is a blue-green algae which binds to heavy metals that can damage the skin and helps to remove them from the body. It also aids in digestion and supports detoxification. And the reason why I was drawn to this is because it is a ideal for breakout prone skin. Me, I'm the poster child for that. The vitamins and minerals help soothe and balance skin for the healthy clear complexion that I hopefully am on my way to getting. I also did want to talk to you about one that I know that works. I love it. This is the Glow Sweet Glow. Jose and I fight over these. He likes to eat these as snacks in the middle of the night and it makes me so mad. So I guess he has glowing skin too from these. So I really love these. They taste delicious and they're just a great way to start my morning. I just recently started testing the Hair Sweet Hair. This one is supposed to be for hair growth. So this is another one that I'm going to have to keep you updated on. And I picked this one out for Jose. So this is the Beauty Zzzz, which helps promote a restful sleep. It has melatonin in it. It's really fantastic. If this is something that you might be interested in, maybe take a peek over at their website. Like I said, they have so many different options that are personalized to whatever your goals are, which are proven by clinical research and results. And so far, so good. I've really been enjoying taking their supplements and vitamins for the last couple of months, so I'm excited to have some new ones to try. All right, so let's get into the haul. I just threw on a Fenty lip gloss because the other one was bleeding a little bit on me. I wasn't a fan of how it was looking. So we're going to start off with the first half of the haul being items that I personally purchased, and then we'll get into the PR, the second half. Some of this you might have seen, some of it you might not have. I originally wasn't going to include products that I've already done full dedicated videos on, but I decided to just in case you missed that. Hopefully I could redirect do and you can just see what new makeup I'm planning on testing. So we'll start off with the newest products that came in. I did end up purchasing from the new Marc Jacobs collection and it's like a coffee themed caffeine collection. So cute. So I have the Marc Jacobs extra shot concealer and foundation. So you're supposed to be able to use this as concealer and foundation. I'm wearing it today as concealer and foundation and it is beautiful. By the way, after this video, I will have my full makeup tutorial on the look that I created because I use used a lot of these products in today's video. But what do you guys think? I think it's a little bit thick for foundation, but I do like it as concealer so far. I'm still in the first couple hours of wearing these products, so I'm gonna have to keep you updated. But so far, so good. I also picked up, of course, their face palette. I had to. This is just... It's good. 
this is good. So this is the Tantastic Glow, and I am wearing this today. All of these three, I wasn't as in love with the highlighter. I feel like it was a bit lackluster, but the bronzer and the blush are beautiful. The blush is still the main focus, as is the bronzer. So it's really, really nice. I still want to play with it a little bit more because I was a bit disappointed in the highlighter, but everything else feels great. So we'll continue to use this. Make sure you stay tuned for that makeup application video because I feature both of these pretty heavily. You guys did see I ordered all from Auric. I have a full review on this. I'm loving, loving, loving the glow loss. I got the shade Selenite. And then, okay, I know I made a... <laughs> I made an uh-oh in the video and I accidentally literally used temper twice instead of using defiance and temper. I said that the colors were very, very similar, obviously, because I used both temper. <laughs> but I still stand by what I said. The reason why I said that is because temper and defiance, they are pretty close, but they are not as close as you saw in that video. So I'm going to quickly swatch defiance for you so you can see that color because that is the one that I missed showing you guys. Literally true uh-oh. And I I don't know how I missed it. I don't. So here is, I know I have like a bunch of junk on my hands, but this is Defiance. Really pretty, a little bit more bronzy and brown. Then let me show you Temper right next to it because I don't know how I didn't notice in my swatches. They looked the same because they were the same, but they are pretty close in the eye, I'm not gonna lie. Just not as close as I presented to you. Now these are hard pan, the top part. I don't like that, but still like on the eye, they're not that different, you know? Still stand by it, but yes, I did want to show you that because I didn't get to. I also picked up, as you know, the new Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 collection. I didn't purchase everything, but I purchased Eternal Eden Quad, so let me show you. Cute little quad, and then look at this gorgeous pinky color. Not the most original color story, but it still is a nice product nonetheless. If you are interested in it, just check out my review. A highlighter was definitely the standout for me in this collection. It is most definitely going to be in my February favorites. Probably the best highlighter she's ever, ever come out with, seriously. And then we have two of the liquid lipsticks, which I'm happy I actually did film my reviews before doing this haul because I can tell you what I think really quickly. And I do not like these. I just think they're so drying. They emphasize lines on the lips and I'm pretty young. My lines on my lips aren't the worst, you know? So I don't... <laughs> I don't really like that formula. It's very lightweight, but I don't really like that formula. And then as you know, I've been starting to get into Chanel. <laughs> Oh, bougie. I'm getting into Chanel Beauty because I cannot afford a purse. And I would love to be able to afford a purse. But until then, I will have this Pearls de Lumiere. It's supposed to be a blush. It's more so of a highlighter on my skin tone. And I mean, the look of it is enough of a reason to purchase it. So the first thing in the collection is... Oh, okay. Is this beauty. I don't even have to like this. I just like the way that it looks and I'm happy to have it. It's really beautiful. And now I didn't think it was my favorite highlighter in the world, but it's very natural, very pretty, subtle, elegant. My favorite product actually in the collection that I tried is the Style Ombre and Contour. It's a liner coal. <laughs> <laughs> and I got it in the shade number 40. It's just an easy one and done eyeshadow pencil. Really easy to just swipe on and blend out. It stays put. Definitely, definitely check out that review to really get my true in-depth thoughts and demo on it because this was my favorite. Something that wasn't my favorite, this was definitely my least favorite part of the collection, was a Balm Essential in the shade Printanier. This looks like it's going to be a gorgeous, dewy, glowy, pinky color. For those of you who don't want to spend money on Chanel, this is going to make you feel really good. Good, but you don't because this honestly just it's not something that I'm going to grab for very often and especially the fact that it's sheer I paid a lot of money <laughs> for like a sheer gloss for my face so not my favorite but the last product that I did pick up in that collection is a rouge cocoa lipstick in the shade tendrous I love a good classic Chanel lipstick it's just one of those things where you feel good putting it on you know, it's a really good formula. I do love the Chanel formula, but of course with Chanel Beauty products, they are they are upcharged, you know. Very nice products, very refined, but very pricey because we got the CC logo at the top and nothing makes me feel more bougie than pulling out a Chanel lipstick. So I'm all for it. I am. So one product that I haven't showed you, I, I've worn it a couple of times. I randomly picked this up at the drugstore. This is a new product from Maybelline. It's the Ultimate. Maybelline's one of my favorite drugstore brands and these are okay. I think I have 
have Maybelline sending me a few colors, but I did want to pick this one up on my own. This is the shade more buff. And it's nice, but if you have dry patches on your lips, it will show them. So make sure you exfoliate your lips before you use that. But it's it's still a really nice lamp product for the price, but I don't highly recommend it. You know, it's just a little bit matte. I picked this up from Beautylish. I just wanted to show you that these were available in case anybody was on the hunt for really, really tiny Q-tips. Great for eyeliner. I bought these for my makeup kit. So they're by the brand My Kit Co. And if you're a makeup artist, you need to check out this brand. And these were just a few bucks. But I'd share that with you. I don't know. On to the final products of the purchase portion of this haul. Hold on. It's going to take a little, a little bit of an explanation. So as you know, or you... Oh. Okay, this is heavy. As you know, or you might not know, indie brands, they take a while to come in the mail. They do. I'm gonna do a swatch and sip, so I'm not swatching these for you, but two brands came in. I got the, I think it's the Aurora Flare Bundle from Davina Cosmetics. So that's what this row is right there. They're like multi chromey pretty. And then you can see the square ones, my order from Cleonad finally came in and I've heard so much buzz about Cleonad and from swatching so far, I'm really impressed, but I'm going to save this for a separate video. But all of my indie makeup lovers get ready because I'm so <laughs> excited for this. Okay, give me a second. I need to, I need to switch things and we're going to pull in some PR. If you follow me on Instagram and you watch my stories, I've shown you most of this stuff in my stories, but in case you don't, first of all, you should Morgan Turner makeup but I did want to showcase some of the PR that I got I'm so thankful to you guys obviously because I wouldn't get this if it weren't for you guys and I'm honestly I'm in shock at just having the problem of having too many products in my room and it creating a mess. I never thought that that would truly a dream come true. I love this problem. <laughs> but let's get started. So this is the newest package that actually recently came in. And it's a hot mess because I dug into here already. But I got a PR package from freaking Giorgio Armani. What? Literally, what? <laughs> Okay, so they sent over their Crema Nera Terra Pencil Laria. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, they might kick me off just for that. But this is a Supreme Renewing Mask. So bougie. Oh my goodness. And then they also sent over a bunch of their Lip Maestros. This is one of the items that I've been wanting to try from them. And we got all types of colors to play with. So I cannot wait. These feel like a very comfortable formula so far. And we have a very nice range here. Really excited about that. And then the last kind of different thing that they sent was a Eyes to Kill Mascara. And I just, I love this packaging. It's so bougie. So thank you so much to you guys. Thank you so much to the team over at Armani Butte. I am not worthy, y'all. Not, not worthy. <laughs> okay, we also got a package from Base Blue Cosmetics. They're always so kind and send me the cute little stuff that they come out with. So we have these makeup remover wipes. And I love a good makeup remover wipe. So one is for the daytime. This is a day beauty cleansing wipe for a water active cleansing wipe gentle to use on the skin to remove excess oil and to refresh the skin. And then we have the wet night makeup removing wipe. So this one is to remove makeup. So I'm happy and excited to use these. I'm going to sit these on my desk and I'm sure I'll use these quite frequently. I did get a few packages from Odin's Eye. I did do a whole review on their new Norns collection. I'm not going to show you that. It's just so much. But they did also send me their lipsticks. These kind of got lost in the shuffle of all the releases that they were having. So I wanted to share with you. The line as a whole seems to to be a little bit darker and a little bit more deeper colors. They have like a matte formula and a cream formula. You'll see I haven't even touched this. So this is Red Cherry. How beautiful is that? And you guys know I love Odin's Eye. I think they have the most beautiful, well thought out, unique launches without being an arm and a leg. So these are the Velvet formula. Look at this. My goodness, Fig Jam. <sighs> This is a stunning color. I want to use this. The problem is I can never use deep lip colors because I always go so crazy with my eyeshadow. But this lipstick line is making me want to use it. So this is light peach. This is the lightest shade that you're going to get. And it still runs pretty deep on my skin tone. And then let me show you the cream lipsticks here. So here are the cream lipsticks. You have Love Jasmine, Tulip Kiss, and then 
what is this brown rose really gorgeous so far the velvet formula is a little bit too drying for me i've yet to try this formula so i'll have to keep you guys updated i mean just the detail on this all together odin's eye is a brand that i have so much respect and love for and i feel like they've really grown in the last few months and i'm really excited about that because they really do bring some unique and fresh ideas to the industry so i highly recommend you looking into their products if you have not yet so thank you odin's eye for this lovely lipstick package being on Kopari's PR list is the best thing that's ever happened <laughs> because I love their deodorant, so I haven't had to repurchase their deodorant, but they sent this cute little a little lip bag and in it we have a Kopari mirror. We've got some merch here. I used this today, the Kopari lip glossy. It's a little bit too liquidy for my preferences, but it's very nice just to throw on for a day-to-day -day wear. And then we have the new Paradise Pout lip kit and they do have a very nice formula that's very moisturizing and you have some fun Paradise themed kind of uh, what flavors. So really excited about that. Thank you so much Kopari. This bag is my favorite thing. It's so cute. <laughs> Aether Beauty. Okay, I've been wanting to try this brand. This brand was on my must try list. So the fact that they sent these, I am so pumped for. I used this today. This is the Supernova Crushed Diamond Highlighter. They're a very sustainably conscious brand. Even the box that they had, you would send it back to be recycled. It was so cool. I wish I had taken a video, but this highlighter is so pretty. It's what, it's what I'm wearing now. Is what's giving me that glow. So, so far, this is good. I have yet to try the Crystal Charge Cheek Palette. But again, this looks really beautiful. And this is how sustainably conscious they are. They don't even put a mirror or magnets. They just old school. Like, I don't know. That reminds me of when I was a kid. But this cheek product also looks really stunning. I cannot wait to dig into this. So again, keep an eye out because I definitely plan on using this very, very soon. I got a package from Revlon, so fierce. Now Revlon has been, they've been really impressing me lately. And let me show you why. So they have these new iPods and I talked about this on my story. Now these are a little bit more sheer. So I'm not in love with the formula. I still have yet to put them on the eyes. So maybe that could change. But how pretty are these color stories. This one in particular caught my eye as has this one right here. These are made in Italy. That's so awesome. Normally these brands, they don't source from Italy. So I'm really excited to try these out. Even though I'm not so impressed with the swatch, I'm interested to see how they apply to the eyes. And something else that I was really surprised by, I played with these today a little bit. These are their chrome inks. So you, you have the three colors and it's weird. It's like a powder, it's not liquidy. And then let me show you, that's what has stained my hand. And then it dries down really fast and I don't see myself using these too often because I don't use these kind of colors, but really neat. And then the last thing in the package that we have is the So Fierce Big Bad Lashes. Not going to open this. I'll probably give this away just because I'm overloaded and overwhelmed by mascaras right now, but really cool and look. That was so fast. The next item that I got in PR, I mean, hello. I used it for my look today. It's stunning. So this is the Kaleidos Club Nebula collaboration with Angelica Nikis. So it came in this cool box. Kaleidos always has the coolest packaging. I got a nice card set and it, the presentation always never ceases to impress me. And if you haven't seen this palette and you've been living under a rock, if you don't know Angie, get to know her. It, I mean, you already know her by looking at this palette. This is her in a palette. It's really beautiful. The quality is really great and congratulations to Angie. It took me so long to be able to try this because I've just been so drowned by work and I used it today and I, I finally feel complete. I have been dying to try this palette and it's stunning. The next PR package that I received. Okay, can we just talk about what a dream come true it is honestly to be able to be on ColourPop's PR list. So they sent me their off Melrose collection. I did do some swatches on my Instagram story. This has released. In the collection, what they sent me was an oat face milk. I love these face milks from fourth grade. They're very lightweight, very moisturizing. Also, we have some scrunchies. 
I love scrunchies. <laughs> we have this blush. I used it yesterday. This is in the shade Juice Bar. It's a gorgeous mauve colored. It's so pretty. This is the star of the show. This is the Melrose palette. Really great cooler toned neutrals. This glittery shade is everything. And I haven't used it on my eyes yet. I'm going to do that very soon, whether it be on an Instagram post or on here. But this is a very pretty palette. It's not anything that you need, but if you're into the color story, I can see it as something very wearable, very easy easy to grab for. And then I also got two lip glosses. So we have Eclectic and then Cross Street is the bottom one. These are very, very sheer. So you're not going to get a ton of pigment with these, but they're very nice, easy to throw on kind of lip gloss. Last couple of packages that I received. Alter Ego sent me their newest collection. And you guys know I'm very, I'm, I'm reserved about the brand as a whole, but I did want to share it with you guys because I know I do have some followers who really appreciate that brand. So they came out with the the Blooms palette and if you aren't familiar with the Blooms palette obviously it's going to be a dupe for the Natasha Denona Love palette and then the Canyon palette is right here this is a dupe of the bronze palette you guys can go check out my alter ego video that I did I gave my very unfiltered opinions I tried to be as unbiased as possible I don't want to talk about it too much because people get heated in the comments neutral opinion is that the quality is very nice for the price I'm personally able to to purchase Natasha Denona so if Alter Ego didn't send these to me like I, I wouldn't have purchased it. If you are unable to purchase Natasha Denona and you really want the color story I think they are a very good option but what did impress me the most were the brushes. Honestly you guys these feel not super high quality you know they are not my refer Sonia G brushes but as far as an affordable brush line they just feel really really nice so if you're on the market for affordable brushes these feel really sturdy and I, I have so many brushes you guys but I'm gonna keep these as backups for my makeup kit because I had this oh my goodness horror story time one time I went to a wedding and I had forgotten all my brushes and like these are the kind of sets that I kind of like to keep zipped up in the side of my makeup bag always just in case my main brushes I'm, I'm I become an idiot and I forget them so I'm scarred from that experience so <laughs> these are the kind of brushes that I use for that purpose Maybelline they sent me a bunch of of also eyebrow pencils but I've been using those and talking about those so I didn't bring them in but they also sent the lasting finish banana translucent setting powder I'm going to actually put this in a giveaway because I won't use this I don't really like banana powders but thank you Maybelline anyways still very kind of you and this is one of the PR packages that I was most excited about I love introducing my audience you guys obviously to new brands and the brand Haley's Beauty reached out to me and they sent me a bunch of complexion products so we had this Haley's Beauty bag and the reason that I heard of Haley's Beauty is because one of my favorite youtubers Juicy Jazz she loves their complexion products so I was excited to try these and I've tried some and there's some that I'm still working on but in the package we got the complexion sponge so I'm picky with my sponges so we'll see what I think about that I haven't tried these yet these look like they'll be a bit too deep for me but I'll give them a try just to try the formula because I know Juicy Jazz loves these so these are the matte foundation and they're in really sleek tiny packages that you can just slip into your purse. This is what I used yesterday. I tried this out. This is the Luminous Foundation. It's a liquid foundation, obviously. It's in shade 3.25. Maybe a hair too deep for me. It oxidized a little bit, but so far, I thought my complexion looked really fantastic with this, honestly. So I'm excited to play with this some more. I've only used it once, but so far, so good. If my experience stays consistent to what I had yesterday, I see why... <sighs> Why are we scraping the front yard while I'm doing this? I can see why Juice Jazz love these. I also got two foundation sticks sent to me. I use them for today's video as cream contour because I got very dark shades sent to me. And I really like them for cream contour. They blend out very well. You just need to find the correct color, but make sure you watch my demo video just to see how these work. But I really like these. I'm happy they sent these to me. We also have the Revive Cream Concealer. So far, this seemed very good. It didn't wow me, but it worked yesterday. I, this is definitely something that I'm gonna have to pay more attention to. I kind of just put it on yesterday and forgot that this was also a new product that I tried because I was so stuck on paying attention to the foundation. And then the last thing that they sent me was a face oil. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought it was a mascara. How does it work? This is the BB Drops Tinted Face Oil. Hold on. Oh, hmm. I'm gonna have to play with this some more. Cool. Now this is in the shade light neutral. It doesn't 
where they scream light neutral to me. It's a little bit orange. <laughs> Regardless though, really excited about this brand. If you don't know, they're a woman owned brand and their products are made in USA of US and imported ingredients. So, so far so good. Again, super excited to try this brand. So thank you, Haley's Beauty. And the last, finally, oh my goodness. The last package that I have to share with you is from Black Label. They sent me a couple of their mink false lashes. I picked out the most natural because this brand has very unnatural lashes and these are still quite glam but they look beautiful so the first shade i really just said shade <laughs> that they sent to me is brazen and look how beautiful they are now they're very very black but this one it gets thicker in the outer corners it looks so pretty and this one is the one i'm most excited about this is the style finesse now she is still super duper glam for what i'm used to but these styles look absolutely stunning so i'm really excited to give these a try oh one last package i totally lied you guys i don't know what i'm about to do with this because it's so cute like, <laughs> I want to keep this box, okay? I just want to keep it because it's so cute. So this is from Milani. This is their new Supercharged Collection. I used a couple of these products for my review today. But it's a giant orange with such cute products. So we have a mist right here. We have a brightening prep mask. We have a primer, which is really nice. I actually really like this. We have some brightening under eye tints. Really great as well. I use the shade Peach. I love it as a corrector. And then we have some lip and cheek tints. I haven't tried these yet, but I think these are all really great products for the summer. I know we're in February and it is snowing every single day up here in Maryland, but Oh my, I am so excited about this package. I mean, the products are great, but like, I'm so excited about this giant orange. This does not go with the aesthetic of my room, and I want to display it so bad. Anyways, thank you, Milani. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. That is all we have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, a huge thank you to Hum Nutrition for sponsoring today's video, today's haul. That's all I have. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.